How to enable Hyper-V on Windows 8. The Windows 8 beta comes with Hyper-V built in. Hyper-V allows you to run virtual machines and have better access to the hardware that those virtual machines run on. So you get faster performance and better graphics capabilities. To enable Hyper-V in Windows 8, go to the control panel, select Programs and Features, turn Windows Features on or off, and then select Hyper-V and they're both of its parts, Hyper-V Core and the Hyper-V Management Tools. You can either have the Hyper-V Core enabled and run the virtual machine on this computer, or if you're managing Hyper-V on a server, the management tools allow you to connect to that server and manage the Hyper-V install on that server. So depending on whether or not this machine is going to be the host or whether you're connecting to another machine that is a host determines whether or not you need just the management tools or the core and the management tools. You have to do a reboot afterwards and once you've done the reboot, Hyper-V is enabled. Be aware that when you're running Hyper-V, if the virtual machine is doing a whole bunch of graphic intensive stuff, you may see some strange artifacts in the way that the host machine is running. Most normally that's seen in the page flipping and some of the smooth scrolling becomes disabled. One of the things that you can do to make this less apparent is to disable the arrow transparency. But generally, if you're running virtual machines, just be aware that the resources that the virtual machine consumes affect the host machine. 